Hello guys, this is Andes and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, basically in this tutorial we're gonna set uh, screens using quick pp. We're gonna create a screen that fades from this like from these fixed posters when you fade it you see that there will be a video playing from that but also we will see the screen that will open multiple files the the i'm sorry external files so let's suppose i clone this and then i go to the gear and just gonna get another video file in this case whatever whatever this one let me just copy the path of this and then i paste the path here i'll delete the quote file slash slash if i copy this path of the file and then I paste it here and then save and then if I play you see now I'll be playing that video so guys no more to say I hope you like the tutorial let's go for it okay guys I have the my project here and the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna set up the program that will connect to the quick VP controller and just to trigger the the video so as you can see this is a single mesh for the screen. This could be a plane. It doesn't matter with the material. We're gonna work on the on the material. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going click on blueprints and then convert selection to blueprint. I'm gonna harvest the component and just I'm gonna make it a uh, actor blueprint. I'm gonna give it a name, BP main screen. It could be whatever, but I'm just gonna use that one. Let's wait for it. Now you can see we got our blueprint here. Let's save all. Good. So now let's make it work with the quick VP controller. So remember in the class defaults, we got the tags. So we need to add LVL program. Good. And then we need to add the in class settings, the LVL director interface. There we go. We compile, we hit save. Now, in the interface LVL director, we need to set to create the program. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use uh, two programs. Yes, I'm gonna use two programs. I'm gonna use one to fade from the posters, which is basically this screen, this image which is basically a single image with multiple poster to a video file. So let me set this pro so double click to open it and uh, the program info, the name we're going to give it will be uh, fade. Uh, yes, we're going to get fade. screen could be no problem so this is we don't need extra info and for now it'll be the zero because I got I don't have any other program set so hit save now if I go to event graph let me delete it let me implement play program and then if if the program ID is equal to zero which is the the, the trigger ID we set we're just gonna print a hello message just to make sure that it's working. So if it's true, print string hello. We hit compile, we hit save, save, save all. Let me open quick BP. I got quick BP controller open. Quick BP controller, I got it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this here. And then let's go back to the quick pp if i hit play you can see we got face screen so those two programs are empty i'm going to just remove them but we got face screen let me see they are extra programs don't delete extra programs we got those two programs let's save it good if i hit play now you see we got our fade screen. If we click, hello, so it's working. Okay. So all is in the material. In this case, 
I got we're, we're using here the poster screens material so you can just create an empty material and I'm gonna create the material from scratch okay so I'm just gonna delete this I'm just gonna set this to only it because it's just screen material yeah so I'm gonna add a texture sampler texture sampler parameter QD, a parameter so we're gonna call it a uh, fixed poster yeah and now I'm just going to multiply this which is one I'm just gonna set a scale which will be intensity set to one this will be like the intensity that the screen will have so and then I multiply this texture over the intensity and then we set this to emissive color so we got our basic our basic screen material so let's just apply apply save good so now we got this okay so let's take back in the you can just create uh, right click create material instance let me just do it uh, let's say mains mi material instance screens mat let's save and then in the blueprint i just use my static mesh and i just get the the i just select this with this selected i go back and i just click here in the arrow and now i have the screen so if I go here I just need to change the, the texture so when I go to my texture you can pick then whatever you want in this case this will be uh, my fixed poster so now you can see we got it back so I just I was just showing you how to create that basic material so let's save good now the next step will be we need another texture which will be the one that we will fade to so in this case let's create another parameter which will be uh we can call it movie clip trailer in this case i'm gonna call it the trailer because i'm gonna switch to the trailer yeah so then i'm gonna add a layer between those two and the mask will be a scatter with the S pressing the S you can do this and then you just let's say uh, uh, show movie clip this will allow us you will see you will see you see now I hit apply and I hit save what will do this for us if I go to the to the movie clip intensity and I just let me switch it to a plane and I just move this value you will see that it will switch between both textures so we need to limit we need to set it to one which will be the maximum and the minimum to zero so I hit save there we go so you can see good now let's save how now are we going to make this fade so the default value will be zero in this case here let's create a variable this variable will be beef this boolean uh showing clip so Am I showing a clip? It's true or false? Yes. Okay, so if the program is zero, then I'm gonna ask, am I showing a clip? I mean, am I showing the movie clip? If true, if false. So, so far, we're not showing it. So what, what we need? We need to work on the material. So the first thing, we're gonna do is we're gonna create a dynamic material instance so we just 
click here create dynamic material instance of this this will create that instance and will apply in the index that we selected in this case will be index one you can see zero one if you create it just a plane it will be zero it depended on the element which is the material in this case one okay so in this i'm gonna right click here i'm gonna to, i'm gonna promote it to variable to store it you can see here temp material there we go so we got our dynamic instance of the material so the next step we we're going to do something we're gonna go temp material we're gonna get it okay it's showing clip if it's showing the clip it's, we're gonna set scalar parameter value you can see this is a scalar parameter so we get the name here which is movie clip intensity let me copy from here I just copy from here did we, we need to put the name here yeah Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna make a we're gonna first test it. Okay, if showing the clip, no. So we're gonna set we're gonna create a temp variable which will be uh, new opacity. This will be a float. Float. Good. So we're gonna take new opacity. We're gonna paste it here. Okay, so it showing the clip no it's not showing so we're gonna set the opacity so we're gonna drag it here we're gonna set it to one because it's not showing and we want to show now it's showing so we're gonna set it to zero because it's showing and we want not to show which is zero so then in both cases we're gonna go to our set scalar parameter so we're gonna set this new opacity value to one or zero depending if it's showing now something we also need to do is to toggle the showing clip so it's showing or is not showing we're gonna we need to set the showing clip to the inverse so if it's showing it will set to not showing if it's not showing it will be set to showing so we click on not boolean and then we place it there there you go so we hit compile and we hit save now let's write our program let's save all okay require update saving now let's hit play what if i go to here to the controller if i click you see it switch yes it's working if you click it will be switching good but we fade i mean we're talking about fade we need to fade this so that's why we created this scalar scalar i mean this scalar parameter which is intensity because we would just create a switch boolean but we need to fade so what we're gonna do so basically we're gonna create a timeline which is uh, like an animation but with a value so it's, it's like animating a value so to do that i'm gonna get rid of those two opacity right clicking and then timeline you see it says add timeline let's call screen fade good let's double click on that we're gonna create a float value and we're gonna right click here oh we're gonna double click here to rename it i'm just clicking f2 uh, opacity this time right click on it add key the key will be at zero position of the timeline and the value would be zero as well and then i'm gonna right click and add another key which will be basically 1.5 at time 1.5 and its value would be one so let's just zoom to fit zoom to fit and then we're gonna set our length to 1.5 this is basically the the length of the animation let's compile let's say let's go back to our event graph so now you see that we get our opacity parameter okay so if it's showing the clip so is, is, is it showing the clip yes so we're gonna hide it so we're gonna 
we're gonna reverse from end so we're gonna play the animation from the value from one to zero because it's already one now it's hidden it's not showing yet so we're gonna set it to false to play from start and then the update is like what we'll do like every like in every frame so we're gonna connect the update to sets color and then our opacity value we're gonna just connect it we're gonna disconnect this because we're not gonna use it and our opacity we're gonna connect it here good so now we need to set the showing clip when this animation ends because if we do that there it will be like true false true false true false true false and they'll get crazy so we're just going to move here and then when it's finished we're gonna set it good so let's compile and let's hit save let's wait for it it's saving okay now let's hit play there we go let's go back to our controller what is it where's our controller is here let's fade the screen and you can see it fade good now if i click again it went back awesome good good great okay now let's stop it so now what we're gonna do what we want now we want that this texture you know uh, where is it here this texture we want it to be a clip you know and it could be it will be an external file so what we're gonna do the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to import our file so let's go here let me go to assets let's just create a new folder called footage footage let me open it and then i'm just going to get this which is basically a movie trailer travel we mess up yes. and we die for now i'm just gonna cut i'm just gonna import it oh, it won't let me drag and drop it so right click import let me copy this path I don't know why it's not let. Oh, I'm a render, so I just import it. Now, let's create a texture where a media. We need to create a media player, and then we need a texture. So this player will be called trailer player. Good. You see, it all it it created the texture for us. So we're gonna double click on it. When it's open, see here. We we got we got our video, so we pause, we save. So now we got the texture, which basically the video will be rendering Scientists in that texture. So the media player needs to be playing. So the media player needs to be playing. So let's just play pause it where here. So we got a nice texture. So in our material, with our texture selected, in our material instance, we're just going to click in movie clip trailer, and then we're gonna pick the selected one. There we go. So hit save. And yeah, but what happened there in my case? The thing is that my mesh has an UV map. So if I go to my mesh, where I said, let me open let's show the UV so you see the channel 0 is for is mapped to this to this texture so you can see oh god it goes oh it won't ball. okay <laughs> so uh oh what happened let me just sorry guys let me open it again there we go so you can see that each screen is mapped to this so this is one UV channel and this is the channel 1 which is basically the channel I need to use for my video but here is using the channel 0 because it said as default so how can I do it in the in the material if you don't know how to open if you lost it so you just go to the instance and just double click on it you see that we got UVs 
So by pressing U on the keyboard or right click and U B or just pressing U on the keyboard and click, you see we got text core. Basically we got the index, which is zero. So for the fixed poster, I just want to use zero. But for the movie clip, I need to use the one. So I click save and then and that way I can use like multiple UVs for a single mesh. So hit save again just in case. There we go. Now if we go back, you see we got our map. So it's a little bit distorted, but it's just because of the UV mapping. So but what happened? If I hit play, you see? Oh, let me just take back my intensity to zero because this is where we're supposed to be. Now if I hit play and I just oh and I just fade it, uh, nothing happened. So because we haven't initialized the media player, as I said, whatever the media player is playing will be baked in the, this texture. So we need to when the when we play the video, we need to initialize it. So how can we, how can we do it? The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna create a program, an extra program. You can do it in the same program, but I'm gonna create an extra program for it. So how? Uh, let's go to the don't delete folder extra program. This is where I can set extra program to appear here in the controller. So let me create an extra program. This program will be called okay. Where is it? Oh, it's here. This program will be called play file. So the trigger ID is set to one this time because I already have the zero to be this one. So one. Now I save. Okay, if I hit play, now you see we got our play file. But nothing is happening. So if you, because we haven't done anything, so nothing happens when you click on it. Now, if you go back here to the main screen and you move, let's move this. The first thing we do is like it's we check if the program is equal to zero. So now we're gonna we're gonna delete this, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch because switch on end. We're gonna switch. Let's remove the default. Let's add a pin for zero. Let's add a pin for one because in this case here I will use just the program zero and one that belongs to this same element. So I just connect on it. So. If the program is equal to zero, do this. Okay? So let's move this here. This is just for fade screen. Let's comment it by pressing Z. Fade the screen. Good. Now, if it's equal to one, which is basically the program we set in the, where is it? On the lead, in the extra program, you see the trigger ID is one. What we need to do? We want to play the media player but what media player so we're gonna create a variable which will be a media player player good let's set this to media player good <coughs> sorry guys and then we compile so we can have a value then we drag and drop here we can set get media player we can go here and this is our media player we click on it and then we just click the arrow to get it but also we can just make it visible we compile with save and then if we choose our screen we can see now our media player so we just drag and it's a matter of drag and drop it so the first thing to play media player will be opening a url so let's open url URL is basically a path in this case, or if, if you have like, like a video webcam will be there, but in this case, it's just a path. We double click on our Scientists trailer. Scientists predicted what would happen. And we copy it. And we paste it here. Good. Now, we open the URL. What's next? Now, next step will be just play. So we play after the URL is loaded. So we'll click here. There you go. 
we just can compile and hit save save all it takes a little bit longer okay good now hit play we go back here we got our fade screen but let first fade play I'm sorry and then we fade now you see our video is playing good excellent so now what's next we're gonna make it play a file that we want an external file so remember that this here is based on URL but also path so basically what you see here like this path is just this path what you see here so this is this path what can we do in our extra programs let's go back to our extra program mm, if you got a mess like this you just hold shift and click here and then when you go back it will be everything like hidden okay so let's go back to our don't delete extra programs let's create an extra data this data will be called file path file path good now we save okay so when we hit play we go back to our controller we see here now we got play here but we can do nothing we cannot trigger because we need to specify here which file will open so how the first thing you just, in windows you just right click let, let me go and get a, another virtual set test another like file let me use this for example you right click with shift and then you copy a path and then in a note you just paste it and you see the path but also you need to add this where is it okay let me just copy this path so it's easier for you i got this path you need to add this at the beginning of the path so file slash slash see then i copy this now let me go back to my controller i paste here and i save good now I cl oh sorry because it was it was not it was not playing so now if I go here I go back to my controller then I paste here and I save now if I hit let me hit play and let me fade oh nothing happens why because we haven't said that here we haven't said we had the same path here so how can we do this we're gonna go to our extra program you can see here and then we're gonna copy this exactly as is and then there is a, fun a helper function called decode field info data which is a function I created just to help you to decode the data that we receive from the controller so the field name in this case is the name that we set here in the program description so you see play file in the, sorry you see file path which is the extra data the field name we need this path so we paste it as is then instead of going to open the url we're gonna get the field data first we're gonna move i'm gonna connect it here but the extra info is the extra info we get from the program so we connect it there you just double click on the line just for to create those reroute and then the parameter will be the value that we set when we save the the URL. So let's connect this parameter here. It will return this as a string. So if we compile, we hit save. Good. Let's wait for it. Now when we hit play, let me just play my file. And then let me fade the screen. And you see, we got it. So basically we can like clone this program at runtime and then hit settings. Let me go and get another file. In this case, let me get whatever, whatever, whatever. This crowd, shift and right click and copy a path. Go to my notepad and I just remove this quotes and then file point slash slash and then just copy that and paste it here there we go so you can see i got the crowd now if i hit play in the crowd 
you can see now it's playing the crowd. So if I hit play here in the basket, it'll be playing the basket. So good. Now, how can we like, so sorry, this is basically how can we, how we can create uh, this type of screen with custom data from using the, the quick VP controller. Okay. So I hope this tutorial guys liked, uh, don't forget to subscribe and also you can check always the Gumroad store so you can get out my previous demos and all my demos so you can support me. So guys, uh, thank you so much for being here and any question, feel free to contact me, even Discord or WhatsApp or whatever you want. Bye-bye. <laughs>